We've just landed in Germany, in Bielefeld. Part of Starag is Droop and Ryan. We're going to take a look at some of their huge machines they manufacture here, mainly in the gantry format. Lee, you've kindly invited us out to Droop and Ryan, which is Bielefeld, North Germany, part of Starag. Now, tell us a little bit more about Droop and Ryan. Well, Drupal and Ryan have been around since 1890, Mark, and they manufacture three types of gantry machine. They, they developed what's now known in the market as the overhead gantry, and then they have a gantry where the table moves under the gantry, and a gantry where the table moves over the top of the job for very, very large machines. And what we're going to do today is talk about a specific type of overhead gantry machine, and I'm going to introduce you to Uli Vihagen in a bit. But I think what makes you specifically um, different in the marketplace, or two things actually, Lee, is one that you've been manufacturing machines for over 100 years, but also you have a spindle technology division here that's not only making spindles but repairing. That must give you a distinct advantage in the marketplace, surely? Well, it's not just spindles, it's complete heads, Mark. So we look at a component and we look at what head configurations required to reach all the features. We've got 300 or over 300 available today. If we happen to find a feature that needs a new head, we design a new head. All the heads are interchangeable. The spindles are interchangeable in the heads and the tools are interchangeable in the spindles. So that makes us very unique. And with the overhead gantry system, we developed this in 1973 and we've built over 130 of these machines now. There's a lot of other manufacturers on the market with, with uh, similar claims, but, um, but we originated and we believe that we lead the field in this, uh, in this technology. And I'm going to speak to Ulrich in a minute uh, in reference to uh, this machine here, but this is something for the marine industry as I understand. Well that's correct, they, these are large machines with a huge turning table, over 8.5 metre turning table specifically built for the, for the marines. Now we build these machines for different markets, for different applications and they all look slightly different. Ulrich, uh, we've spoken to Lee about the uh, background to Droop and Ryan, but could you tell us a little bit more specifically about this machine that we're looking at here? Yeah, this is, a, I do believe it's the biggest uh, mill turn machine in the world. It's a multifunctional machine made for turning operations, milling, boring operation, as well as uh, profiling operation. That's very special. The component is up to 350 tons and the machine table can hold this. This is an overhead uh, gantry machine combined with a turning table of a VTL machine. And the head you can see here is a profiling head, but we have additional heads, changeable heads, for turning operations as well as for milling and boring operations. So when you look at the uh, production element on the shop floor, you have a facility for your spindles and for your heads. Is your head market very much down to the customer's needs? Do you build them ex specifically for your customers? Absolutely, absolutely. Depending on the production needs, we, we can choose the right hat or we can design and develop the right spindle or hat. Both belongs to our core competences. Obviously, there's lots of different uh, types of products that you could machine on here, but I see it's really rigid. What sort of size component could uh, be machined here? The size of the component has a diameter up to 8 meter roughly. When you look at uh, the type of machines that you have in your uh, facility here at the moment, wh where do you see the future of uh, the machines that you'll be selling into the market over the next 5, 10, 15 years? I see a lot of different components and applications. We started with the mold and die business as a finisher. Now we have a multi-flexible machine to do uh, complete machining. And I see this in uh, general engineering as well as in landing gear aircraft business. So it's a really wide range of components to be machined on this machine. And is there any specific uh, sectors that uh, you couldn't make a machine for? It's specific if uh, the machine should be fast, very dynamic and precise. And when you look at uh, the type of build that you have here, obviously long lead times, but I presume that you're really building this machine based on the customer's needs for the product and the end product itself. Exactly. It's configured uh, according to the needs of the customer, according to the component. We check with our application engineers what do we need, where do we need uh, to have access to the areas to be machined, and then out of our standard modules we configure the machine. Eric, thanks very much for your time. My pleasure, thank you.